Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from at the macro to the micro. So, you want to raise your testosterone levels, I'm going to assume, considering you selected this. But, you'd also like to have a scientific basis for a supplement that might do exactly that. Interestingly enough, I might just have something for you. In this content, we'll be discussing an herbal supplement that may be promising in regards to its effects on testosterone. So I'll show you the science, the amount used, then explain, if it works, the physiological explanation. So let's get into it. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. So the researchers of this study wanted to know how this supplement would affect testosterone levels. So they put men into two groups. One group received a placebo, so they did not receive the supplement, and the other group did receive the treatment supplement, Forskolin. The participants of the study had their testosterone tested at the beginning and then went about their daily lives for 12 weeks, consuming their respective powdered supplement, the placebo or Forskolin. Then they were tested again at the end of the 12 weeks. Fortunately, there were no statistically significant differences between the groups in terms of body weight, lean mass, age, fat mass, or otherwise. So the testosterone comparison is strengthened by the similarities between the two groups. For context, you should be aware that when looking at testosterone, it's important to distinguish between free and total testosterone because total testosterone is pretty pointless. The real teller is free testosterone because that is the testosterone that is available to the cells of your body. So with that context, how did Forskolin work out? Well, unfortunately, the testosterone levels between the two groups was different at baseline, so it makes the comparisons more difficult, but not impossible. The actual change was statistically significant in the free testosterone group, and it was damn near for the total testosterone condition. So it's likely that Forskolin increases testosterone. But before you leave here thinking that Forskolin is the next revolution in testosterone boosters, you should understand the real effect of this increase. The increase in testosterone may be significant statistically, but the real world effect is going to be minor, if anything, because Forskolin increases free testosterone a few percentage points. On average, nothing major. However, the data also shows that some men experienced a greater increase. So for some men, there may be a more real world effect, but on average, don't expect a huge difference. However, assuming you would still like a small boost, the amount the researchers used was 250 milligrams of 10% Forskolin extract twice a day. All right, assuming that doesn't dissuade you, how does Forskolin affect your body's physiology? The way testosterone is normally produced is by an interaction of luteinizing hormone on the Leydig cells, primarily of the testes. When luteinizing hormone binds the Leydig cell's receptors, it leads to an intracellular increase in a molecule known as cyclic AMP. The increase stimulates a master protein called protein kinase A to activate cell signaling proteins within the cells to bind the genes responsible for testosterone precursor molecules that will eventually be processed to testosterone and released into the bloodstream. Forskolin has a cool ability to raise cyclic AMP levels independent of luteinizing hormone, which is the proposed way that Forskolin increases the activity of protein kinase A, thereby stimulating testosterone production. So, ultimately, how should you walk away from this content? You should know that one, 250 milligrams twice a day of 10% extract forskolin increases testosterone, including the more important free testosterone. Two, the effect is small and may not be noticeable in the real world, except in rare exceptions. And three, forskolin may work independent of your normal testosterone generating pathway. So with that, I hope this all proved useful to you, and I certainly hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you on Physionic again soon. Cheers.